MyCases email integration features let you easily store emails in a case or client file. This is useful for email correspondence outside of MyCase that you would like to bring into the system. Email integration in MyCase also supports attachments, so attached files will also get forwarded into MyCase. Each user at your law firm has a unique email forwarding address that is assigned to them. They can then forward incoming or outgoing emails to that email address, and the emails will be copied into MyCase. From there, the emails can be resolved by assigning it to a case or contact file that it should be associated with. The first step is to obtain your unique email forwarding address by clicking on the Email Integration button on the bottom of your account. When the Email Integration box opens up, click Settings. The first field will be entitled Your MyCase Email. Highlight and copy the displayed email address to send outside emails into MyCase. The second step is to create a contact in your email program using your unique MyCase email forwarding address. Open the program you use for email, whether it be Outlook, Gmail, or so on. Create a new contact and paste the unique MyCase email address into the email field. When you name the contact, we suggest something like MyCase forwarding email. That way, when you are forwarding an email into MyCase, you can simply type in that name of the contact instead of having to remember your email forwarding address. To forward an existing email into MyCase, open up the email that you would like to store in MyCase, click Forward, and send it to the contact that you just created. The email will be waiting for you in MyCase to resolve it to the case or contact file. When writing a new email message that you want to save in MyCase, simply add your MyCase email forwarding address to the CC or BCC section of the email. When you send the email, a copy of it will be waiting for you in MyCase to resolve to that case or contact file. Finally, when you forward any of these messages into the system, MyCase will want you to assign them to a specific case or client record. Until the email is assigned, it will be considered unresolved. To do this, navigate to the email integration icon on the bottom of your account. You will notice a red notification bubble with a number, letting you know if you have any unresolved emails awaiting your attention. Click into the email integration screen and you will see all of your unresolved email messages. This is where you can assign each email to the proper case or contact file. You can also save any attachments that come in with the email. The subject of the email will be in bold, and a preview of the email body will come after it. You'll also notice the original to and from fields are displayed. First, you will notice the time and date that the email was sent or received. My case will try to extract this information from the email, but you can always change it if need be. Then you can specify the case that the email should be linked to. My case will try to auto-populate this field based on records in the system. This is an optional field. Next, you can specify the contact that the email should be linked to. My case will try to auto-populate this field based on records in the system as well, and it is also an optional field. Then, let my case know whether the email was incoming or outgoing. Incoming email means that the message was sent to you by someone else and is now stored in my case. Outgoing means that you sent this email message to someone else and it is now stored in my case. Any attachments that come in with the email will appear here. You can then choose to either delete the attachment, save the attachment to a case file, or save it as a firm document. When you have specified the information for the email message, click the Resolve button. Your email will be stored in the Messages tab under Forwarded Emails. It will also be located in the Contact or Case file you resolved it to for easy retrieval.